Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the SPAFA sesh. Uh, my name is Noel. I'm the Senior Specialist in Archaeology at the Emil Regional Center for Archaeology and Fine Art. Um, I hope everyone is uh, well out there. Uh, we are broadcasting live from Bangkok, and we are here joined with uh, our guests from uh, Vietnam, all the way from Hanoi. Professor Lam. Uh, Professor Lam, may I ask you to uh, unmute yourself? Ah, it's okay. All yes, right. We can hear you. So mm -hmm. the, the SPAFA session is our uh, semi-regular um, uh, webinars and talks about uh, archaeological activities and um, uh, cultural related activities related to the, the archaeology and traditional arts and culture of Southeast Asia. And uh, as usual, I think uh, some of you may be new to the sesh. We, we do this maybe once a month, sometimes more. Um, and uh, we have our, we are broadcasting live on Zoom and on Facebook. So if you if you are here on Zoom or on Facebook, please uh, leave a leave a question or a comment. Uh, tell us especially where you're where you're listening in from and uh, uh, where you're coming in. We we have a bag giveaway. Our Spafa bags. We usually give away two of these. This is our Spafa building in Bangkok. Uh, we give one of these uh, uh, two of these away. One to uh, someone who makes a leaves a question or comment on on Facebook, and someone who leaves a question or comment on Zoom. So uh, please feel free, and, and we will announce that at the end of the of the session. Um, so this morning, uh, like I said, we are joined by uh, Professor Lam, uh, who is. Uh, let me let me read her bio for you before we talk about uh, the Wun Choi site in Hanoi. Uh, Prof Lam received her uh, PhD in archaeology from Sophia University. Um, and from uh, 1989 to now, she is a lecturer in archaeology and Vietnamese traditional culture at the University of Social Sciences and Humanities in uh, uh, VNU in Hanoi. She is the chair of the Department of Archaeology and director of the Anthropology Museum. Uh, her research interest covers the metal age of Vietnam and Southeast Asia, the appearance of rice cultivation and bronze metallurgy in Vietnam, the archaeology of Champa, and she has authored uh, numerous works, uh, including The Fundamental Culture of Vietnam, um, Fundamental Archaeology, uh, one, million, one Millennium of uh, Champa Archaeology, and the Maritime Archaeology in Vietnam. She has conducted numerous excavations, uh, 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 amongst different cultures and different time zones of uh, Vietnam. And this morning, she will be talking to us and sharing with us about her recent work in um, the Wun Chao site uh, in Hanoi, which uh, I personally have not heard of until earlier this year. And I know it's an old site that's been excavated for a while, and I'm, I'm sure you will give us a history of that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, the only reason I've, I've known about it is because we have an article out in the Spafa Journal about um, uh, the Wun Chao site and uh, I, Wun Chui site, and I will I will send a link to the article later uh, after this. So without much further ado, uh, let me please welcome uh, uh, Prof Lam from Hanoi. Prof Lam, go ahead. Okay, so. Okay. Um, oh, where is this? And did, did, did you see my presentation slide? No? Or oh, share a screen now? All right. It's okay? Yes. All right. So, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you uh, for your uh, attention to uh, the presentation. So um, today I, I will give you some information uh, on the um, archaeology, uh, archaeology of Vun Chui um, from uh, 
2009 uh, until now, I with my uh, students from university and uh, people from uh, Inchito of Archaeology Department of uh, Hanoi Department of Heritage, Hanoi Museum, and um, other people from the village, uh, Laisa Village, we uh, conducted uh, several excavation uh, at the Vun Choi site. Uh, first of all, uh, I want uh, and at my uh, today uh, presentation, I will present uh, some uh, some information on the um, following issue. Uh, the first, the um, but um, before going to the slide, I want to show you uh, some uh, picture uh, taken at the Vun Choi Panorama. Um, here is the. Uh, picture uh, taken uh, in 2009. And here is the picture at, uh, after about uh, 20 years. And the, uh, the, the site, uh, um, how to say, changed very fast. Uh, before it was the, um, the field of the people of the local, uh, lo uh, local village, villager, and but uh, in cemetery, and now uh, Vun Choi uh, under the very fast uh, um, urbanization and uh, um, uh, development, and they will build here a um, very big uh, living complex uh, and the national road. And that's why um, now we, we must focus on our excavation to, to make the plan for uh, conservation and uh, preservation um, of the site for the, next, for the future and for the next generation and for us, of course. So my topics uh, will be um, a focus on the cultural formation of the site and of course, uh, the process of uh, deformation. And the second is the cultural characteristic uh, the, and the values of the site. And the, uh, the final one, uh, some issue on the preservation and conservation uh, of the site. Uh, the next slide um, is the, the Vun Choi complex of site, is uh, the map of Vietnam. And uh, the, um, here is the um, location uh, distribution of some uh, uh, mountain um, in, in the area. And we have the six or seven, um, seven uh, small uh, mountain. And uh, on uh, this uh, mountain, we have five uh, vestiges of uh, habitation and cemetery of the uh, people from the uh, Metan Edge is mean the Bronze Edge and Early Iron Age uh, in Vietnam, uh, from the four uh, thousand years ago until uh, two thousand years ago and later. But now uh, only Vun um, Chui uh, here and uh, Go Zin Zan. Go is mean in Vietnamese. Uh, mean is uh, mold. The other uh, disappeared and became uh, the building, uh, the living building, and the um, habitation of the present people, the, the nowadays people, and um, some uh, under the uh, very big uh, sports complex here. And it means that only Go Dun Chui and Go Zin Zan now um, are still um, remain uh, for us for studying and uh, for making some plan for uh, archaeological management. In um, the next uh, map, um, in the area of Hanoi City, uh, the archaeologists, Vietnamese uh, uh, archaeologists, we have found, uh, recognized, uh, and uh, discovered a lot of the site that belong to the Metan Edge, and um, and some uh, and some. Um, and we also uh, recognize uh, some uh, concentrated site uh, and we call uh, the complex. For example, Vun Chui is one of this complex um, consisted of the site from the Dong Do anti Dong Sun Yin period. I will uh, explain uh, later for this uh, chronological sequence, but it's about from the uh, 
3,500 years before and 2,000 years before present. The other one you can see here is the very or another complex of site. Uh, we call the Cổ Loa, Cổ Loa uh, complex of site. Uh, where is this the uh, Cổ Loa Citadel, and uh, which is considered as the capital of the very ancient Viet uh, Kingdom, uh, Ola Kingdom. Uh, so uh, between uh, the, how to say, between the these two complex are very near. And uh, one of uh, one other uh, uh, um, prominent value of the Vern Choi site that is the very near to the downtown of Hanoi city. It's far from downtown of Hanoi city, about 20 kilometers only. And uh, it's also is a reason that this area <laughs> is under very, how to say, uh, very fast uh, urbanization process in um, development of the industry area because it's a very, very important site for important location for the making uh, the satellite um, building uh, city for the, uh, for the uh, capital, for Hano capital. So this is the, um, unfortunately, a lot of the site uh, dotted here are uh, disappeared. Um, some, uh, uh, some of them are uh, excavated already, but a lot of them are only partly this, uh, excavated. And then um, um, because of the uh, agriculture activity, industrial building, uh, John building, and now uh, it is uh, so that the Choi is very important for us to, to make something, to, to make for preservation or conservation. Um, okay, let's go. So I um, want to, how to say, to give some brief uh, information about the history of research. The archaeological relic uh, have been discovered and studied by archaeologists since uh, uh, 1969. And since then, many research survey and excavation have been conducted. So, so from uh, 2009 uh, to uh, 2000, uh, 2014, Vun uh, site was the place for our field work, or for our student um, to do the field work. Uh, every year, um, at the end of year in December is a very, uh, how to say, good time for excavation in Northern Vietnam. We bring our student here for uh, practice as for, for uh, um, practice of archaeological methods and uh, uh, research um, uh, theory. And um, so we, uh, we, in this, um, because of uh, limited uh, of the time, we made, uh, we usually made a very small one, small test piece or small excavation, but um, we, uh, because of the practice uh, of the uh, archaeological uh, methods, so uh, we uh, uh, obtain a lot of information about Vun Choi site and other site around Vun Choi. Uh, but during uh, two years, uh, two seasons, uh, in uh, 2019 and 2020, um, we have the big team uh, for excavation and for research uh, of Vun Choi, um, including the people from Institute of Archaeology. In this, the prof uh, Associate Professor uh, Dr. Bui Van Liem, uh, the former uh, the Vice Director of um, Institute of Archaeology, uh, is the leader of this uh, big team, and I am the co-leader of, uh, of him. And Hanoi Department of Culture and Department of Archaeology of our university, um, we uh, conducted the excava excavation at the site, but the purpose of this excavation uh, is for evaluation of the value. So then from, uh, from this video, we can making the uh, preservation plan. Uh, for example, we, maybe we can build here a kind of archaeological time park or open air on-site archaeological museum. Until now in Vietnam, uh, we have not 
in uh, real uh, this kind of museum um, and for utilization of uh, the archaeological value in our society now in contemporary time. It is uh, the, the purpose of uh, two uh, excavation. So um, from this excavation uh, and research, uh, uh, we can um, determine that the, this area is the residence barrier complex developed continuously through Dong Dao, Gomun periods, uh, we call pre Dong Sun Yen period, belong to Bronze Age in Vietnam. Uh, and to Dong Sun period, uh, from the, uh, 3,500 to 2,000 BP and, and later, of course. And so uh, this is an important site, uh, as mentioned uh, above, uh, for the prehistory and history of Red River Delta in Northern Vietnam. And until now, total excavated area, uh, about uh, uh, 1,049 square meter. And but this area very la very large, uh, and we uh, excavated only a uh, small part of this. Uh. So some have picture showing you the uh, our student and teacher uh, uh, participated the, at the field school uh, in uh, 2014, 2013. Yeah. And um, we, we uh, um, teach our students how to begin uh, one excavation, how they can uh, conduct, uh, uh, of course, with the um, advice of uh, professor, and how to communicate with the local people for, for, for the value of this site. Uh, this is for the, the researcher or uh, experts who are interested in the Vun Choi site. And I list here uh, every, every excavation season, every uh, with the uh, total area of excavated area and um, some uh, very biblical uh, characteristics. And I think maybe some experts uh, and some specialists or archaeologists uh, of uh, Southeast Asia um, reason can um, uh, how to say to make uh, or to get some useful information on on, on this table. Um, this is um, the map uh, for of the excava uh, excavated pit at Vân Chui. Uh, here is the whole uh, full um, excavation site uh, and pit. But here is uh, some of uh, this year excavation. Uh, in red color, and uh, other uh, in black color is the from the 2019. Yeah. And um, um here but is uh, is the eastern pass is the western pass. So because the I I, I will mention later, but because of uh, building some road going through this site. So we must to check uh, to 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 make uh, how to say the the excavation to checking uh, the cultural sequences um, on the older older Vân Chui site uh, to see that the eastern pass or western pass is most important uh, because we must to how to say to make the decision uh, which pass of the Vân Chui we must to to preserve and and which uh, past uh, can uh, excavate um, by the law of heritage and the artifact can come to the, um, to the museum for exhibition. Um, and so uh, that's why we, um, we plan to, um, to make the excavation uh, pit as the, you can see here on slide. Here is the uh, drone uh, picture, a uh, drone photo of the two trends um, done in uh, 2019 uh, in the western part of the site. Uh, and you can see here some uh, the new complex, uh, the cement complex, and the road coming here. Uh, 
and this is three uh, trend uh, making uh, made in uh, 2020 on the on the eastern part of the Vun Chuy. Uh, let's go to uh, the uh, control formation of the site uh, and uh, spatial distribution of the vestiges of uh, habitation uh, from the Dong Dao to Gaomun and to uh, Dong Sun Yin period and some um, information on the chronological, uh, chronological sequences in Advent Choi site. Yeah, um, here is um, uh, some um, information on the stratum uh, uh, development of the site. Um, for the chronological of the metan age in northern Vietnam, we, uh, we have two periods. The first period we call pre dong Yin period, including the Phung Nguyen culture and uh, um, from the 4,000 um, years uh, before to 3,500 years before present. Of course, this is a kind of uh, a very, um, uh, it's a tentative uh, chronology, chronology, but because uh, until now we have some uh, Phung Nguyen side very early, uh, above uh, 4,000 years uh, uh, before present. And then we have the Dong Dao, um, um, culture or Dong Dao period, we call Dong Dao culture. It's a uh, 3,500 uh, to 3,000 BP. It's uh, equal to the uh, metal, uh, to the later Neolithic and early metal age in Thailand and higher high metal age in Thailand. And so uh, for the Gormun uh, culture. And uh, then uh, the Dongsun culture. The Dongsun culture is, uh, is uh, belong to the early Iron Age um, because the, there are um, the, the begin of the Iron uh, technology in Vietnam. Uh, also, same as in, in, in Thailand, is about uh, two hundred uh, and five uh, to two thousand and five hundred years uh, before present, and left to um, uh, the first century AD after the. Hai Ba Chung. So um, from uh, excavation, we can uh, briefly, we can, how to say, um, uh, to, to map uh, the um, distribution of the vestiges of the habitation of the Dong Dao people. They uh, live mostly on the highest part of the site. Mm. And uh, then the Gao Moon and Dong Sun people, they extended uh, the Dong Dao area um, from the above, from the high uh, uh, elevation uh, to the lower elevation. Uh, but the Dong Sun people then, they use uh, Dong Dao and Gao Moon habitants, uh, habitation site for cemetery. Mm. In the earlier period, the Dong Sun people, they, they, they buried their dead um, into habitation, into resident uh, area. Uh, but then uh, maybe in later period, they have uh, the separately cemetery, but nearby the uh, resident area. So here I give some uh, very also, um, in, um, this tendency of the extend, extension of the uh, living area from the higher elevation to the lower elevation is the common for the, not only for Vun Chui people, is common for the people from the Metan Age in Northern Vietnam. And I, I think in, in Thailand also the same uh, tendency. Uh, uh, the earlier period, they live on the higher path and then they uh, extended uh, uh, on the lower, maybe because they have uh, enough uh, technology uh, skill for how to say for um, uh, prevent uh, prevent the, the the flood, and also maybe they need more uh, area for rice cultivation. So the same situation, the same. Uh, um, a trend we can see on the Vun Choi side. 
in the next in the next slide, uh, I will show you briefly some uh, uh, stratum uh, seconds of the uh, each uh, excavation pit and uh, test pit. For example, in 2010, uh, in trend one, we we because we um, opened the excavation pit on the higher higher on the, the highest uh, place on the Vun Chui mouth. So we find only here, only Dong Dao resident uh, um, yeah, remain. And then the, the um, people from the Dong Sun period, they build, they, uh, they, they buried their dead on the higher past. Uh, so um, here we have only Dong Dao um, layer, habitation layer, and then the Dong Sun Yen uh, barrier. But on the other parts, maybe we have uh, the uh, different uh, chronological sequence. Here is also uh, also in the the higher highest part of the Bun Choi, and we can say see uh, the life, the remain of the Dong Do period uh, uh, residents remain very very deep, and and then. Also on the above of the Dong Dao layer, the, the people from Dong Sun Yen period, they also build, uh, they, they also the buried, they, they dead here. But in eastern past of the, the, the mouth, and you can find the, no, no Dong Dao people here, no Dong Dao uh, uh, vestige here, but we, we found, found uh, the Gao Moon in Dong Sun Yen period is the mean that uh, it's the uh, eastern past is uh, a little bit uh, lower. So uh, the people from the Gao Moon in Dong Sun, they uh, choose this area for living and for um, buried their dead. Again, uh, southern past of mostly is Dong Sun Yen period, Dong Sơn Yen um, habitation uh, and Dong Sơn Yen barrier here. Later, I, I will explain some feature appearing on uh, either side uh, and uh, just only for um, um, stratigraphical uh, development of the site. So in Western past, we also found the Gao Moon in Dong Sơn. Uh, the Dong Sơn people, they, they live directly above uh, the layer of the Gao Moon. Uh, but because the, um, uh, the Vun Chui mouth uh, is consisted of very small, small mouth, and we can see uh, the, it's uneven level of the site. Uh, and the people, they... Um, mm, it depends on, on, on location that we open the, the, the test piece or excavation trend in very complicated uh, stratigraphical second and difficult to, how to say, to, um, to excavate it here, um, especially in this past because it's very loud and the water come inside. And um, for us, the, we, we always... Um, to make some very small pit here to collect the water. And then we have the, the good uh, terrace for excavation to see the, how to say, to see the distribution of uh, feature and uh, to um, make uh, clearly the stratigraphical uh, layer. It's the very, it's the most eastern part of the hill, uh, of the mountain. So, here only Dong Sun barrier uh, have been found uh, uh, because it's very uh, it's a, also is the um, I think in uh, I think that's the, from the side I think that's the in the um, development period of the Dong Sun culture the people they how to say they um, have plan to um, to make separately symmetry for to before they, they build on all all of uh, the, the site. But in this area, we have found only uh, symmetry, so the symmetry and the, only the barrier. But unfortunately, 
this area also very heavily destroyed by the antiquity looter. So, um, Vương Chúa is very famous for the looter because there are a lot of Dong Sơn Nhiên period uh, barrier with the bronze artifact. And they use uh, the, the metal detector to, how to say, to, uh, to uh, collecting uh, the bronze artifact for the black market, uh, for the antiquity market. So I and um, Dr. Damien, also we have one uh, article on the public archaeology about the problem of the uh, looting, antiquity looting at Vân Chuy uh, site. And it's also the common uh, problem uh, for Dong Sơn Yên uh, site in Vietnam, because Dong Sơn Yên cemetery are uh, very rich with the uh, bronze. And it also is the famous, uh, how to say, favorite uh, uh, artifact for the private uh, collection. So, you know, that's the, it's, uh, I think it's the same situation in every way. Uh, in, and um, here, uh, we, um, to, in 2020, we make one trend here, a trend tree, to, um, to know about the distribution of the Dong Sơn Yen area, uh, Dong Sơn Yen um, cultural uh, remains. And here, only uh, uh, nothing to, do, to find, only that's, um, how to say, that's bit um, left by the looter and only very small bronze fragment uh, have been found here. And here to, um, uh, for the summary of the seconds, uh, the, the stratigraphical second system. So um, I, um, uh, how to say, I um, choose this uh, picture for you uh, to see that uh, uh, above the basal layer, uh, is the Gormun uh, period, uh, about the 3000 something uh, before present. And then, uh, because uh, here is a very uh, low, so then we have some kind of alluvial soil, uh, maybe the, the, the vestige or the result of some fruit uh, here, uh, uh, nothing here. Um, um, and then uh, on the on the alluvium soil, a lot of uh, barrier, Dong Sơn Yen barrier, and uh, Dong Sơn Yen uh, habitation remains. And here, Dong Sơn Yen period, we have two, at least two or three Dong Sơn Yen phases. Um, it's the uh, earlier, and then we have some kind of the um, um, post set. Uh, re, uh, reinforced layer. They use a very, uh, they use the um, ceramic uh, fragment to do a kind of layer um, above uh, the very um, uh, very um, soft uh, soil uh, to make the platform for living. So it's the, uh, for us it's a very, uh, how to say, uh, it's very uh, lucky that we can find the uh, this intact to see uh, the uh, um, division of the uh, Dong Sơn Yen faces uh, of the habitation and barrier. This is one, so. The other one, but because uh, the, the excavation pit uh, uh, located at different location, so uh, the sequences of the stratigraphical sequences are different. Here we have also found the basal layer, so the, and here this Gormun layer. So we have uh, alluvium uh, soil um, here, very very thick, and then we have the Dong Sơn uh, habitation site and Dong Sơn barrier and the surface. I think we think that the, the surface also is a Dong Sơn period, but because of cultivation of the uh, activity, the living activity of the later people, and uh, I'll, uh, maybe one part of the Dong Sơn habitation uh, layer uh, will uh, disappear, uh, so in this trouble. Yeah, oh, yeah so uh, the, uh, to see more clearly the development of the uh, all the cultural, uh, cultural formation of the site. Yeah. And we have also here the Gormun 
uh, layer, then alluvial soil layer, and two Dongsonian uh, faces. But here, uh, because of other other parts uh, of the other wall, here we cannot find the um, uh, alluvium soil uh, because it's uh, on on the higher highest uh, um, higher uh, elevation uh, in comparison with the uh, previous uh, um, wall that I show you. Here we have not um, and here because uh, there is there was also the cemetery of the Lysa villager, so uh, the barrier, the activity of the present people also destroyed partly partly the virtual um, side. Yeah, so we're going to the some um, uh, remain related to the activity of the people um, as the. Yeah, the first is uh, related to the treatment of houses, uh, platforms as a build uh, yellow clay foundation in Dong Do period. In Dong Do culture, uh, from other side uh, in, in northern Vietnam, we have also found a kind of uh, the people that use the uh, the yellow clay to make kind of platform for the house. And on the platform, we can find some post hole. And this uh, in in uh, in Venture, we also found this kind. And um, um, the, this kind of uh, uh, as I am um, so. Uh, above already as uh, they use uh, the uh, pottery fragment for making the uh, a platform uh, in Dung Sơn Yen period. And um, some vestiges uh, related to the bronze foundry uh, in the fireplace. And um, the uh, black soil pit, there are a lot of black soil pit uh, maybe before they uh, they make, uh, they, um, how to say, they exploited the clay for making the pottery. And then uh, a lot of waste that, uh, come here and uh, became the very black. Uh, so, um, and um, uh, other feature we have found in Advent Choi site is the barrier from Dong Dao and Dong Sơn Yen period. Unfortunately, we have only one barrier from the Dong Dao period. Uh, and um, other, um, all most of, of them are from the Dong Sơn period. At Gomun uh, layer, we have not found the vestiges of barrier, and we cannot know exactly about the uh, uh, changing in the um, custom uh, in the right of barrier uh, through uh, Dong Dao, Gomun, and Dong Sơn period. Yeah, some kind of uh, vestiges related to the activity of the people from the Dong period here. Uh, here, the Gomun, you, you, you see uh, it already, but here are uh, a lot of uh, barrier, Dong Sơn Yen barrier, dug in, into the soil alluvium layer. Yeah, so the same. And uh, um, uh, as I mentioned above already, uh, because the, 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 the surface is not uh, uneven and uh, consists of the small, uh, small, uh, small hill or small mound. And between the uh, mound, there is some kind of uh, ancient um, flow of water and a pond. So I we we also found the vestiges of the pond or of the the lake or side kind of a small river um, uh, flow uh, in at, at the at the uh, foot of the uh, of the the mall. and uh, a lot of uh, wooden um, wooden remained uh, and plant remained uh, left here and. Um, it's the first time that we can find the, 
the wooden artifact are from the um, pre dongsonian period we have the dongsonian period a lot because uh, in the uh, log coffin but for uh, um, habitation site uh, it's a uh, very difficult to find the uh, wooden um, because of the uh, dry area and uh, dry um, um, condition so all uh, organic remain uh, how to say um, uh, disappeared here is the trust uh, and here um, a letter i i will show you some wooden artifact um, found at uh, this uh, floor or this pond that is a dongsonian um, cemetery yeah. again so it's a kind of a uh, a uh, picture that you can for found uh, is a gomun layer it the baza layer and it the well, the pot set uh, layer from the dongsonian period yeah the, before we can see on the profile here on the yeah and so grab uh, in um, this year excavation all uh, all remain now we uh, how to say we keep on the side because we have the plan uh, to make some uh, uh, preservation um, area here so um, for the 2019 and 2020 we um, we excavated by the methods uh, for uh, conservation and preservation on the site so some of the uh, barrier um, found at venture site is a dong dot barrier only one we found in adventure and uh, um, the the grape goes uh, consists only uh, of the pottery uh, is different uh, is a very different from uh, uh, the dongsonian period Barrier from Dongsan period um, um, mostly uh, um, in um, primary uh, primary barrier. Only some of them are secondary. We have found a, 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 I think a six, six a secondary um, barrier. And um, for the Dongsan period, the, the barrier also um, we can see the difference uh, differences in the in the uh, uh, quality and in the number of the grape goods. Um, um, some uh, there are a lot of uh, bronze artifact and uh, pottery, but some um, very small uh, number of uh, bronze artifact some without and some uh, small uh, quality of the some small number of the uh, pottery so we think that uh, at this um, time of uh, dongsonian period there is some kind of uh, social um, di different differences between the, the the people at the community mostly the pottery the pottery um, look at uh, I let on the on the um, head on 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 the leg of the skeleton, but uh, other um, artifact uh, like the uh, bronze artifact or a stone ornament uh, they put um, along the skeleton. Uh, here we can see the um, earring. Uh, the e earring, uh, the stone earring, and glass earring on the uh, ear on the skeleton. So, yeah, uh, the, because there are a lot of skeleton, and uh, we need the expert from Institute of Archaeology of Department of uh, um, Ancient Environment and Ancient Human uh, to help us and to teach you to our students how how to work uh, and how to treat with the skeleton and how to make the information how to make the note uh, 
and uh, this is um, um, Kim Tui from Institute of Archaeology. In this kind of secondary uh, secondary barrier, they they uh, collect the, the bone and they put uh, uh, in the uh, very small uh, wooden box, um, kind of here coffin. And some secondary uh, barrier are put in the uh, jar, pottery jar. You have a, you have a, one kind of this uh, barrier. Yeah, all right. So some some um, some barrier overlap and cut into into the earlier one. So. Yeah, it's a very. Uh, it's also is the. Um, um, it's a primary um, barrier with the artifact. Uh, for example, we gave uh, some um, earring, a uh, stone earring, and um, a stone fragment, a uh, bronze fragment, and uh, some uh, the pottery, Dongsonian pottery, also. In here, uh, earring on the uh, on the ear. Also, and uh, some uh, bronze artifact, and mostly um, um, the grab goes good. Uh, consists of the pottery pot and pottery uh, vessel. In uh, this is the secondary uh, secondary barrier of the Dongsan uh, uh, dug into the Gaobun residential layer. So here we have found some miniature um, bronze artifact. At Dong Sen Yen, um, culture, at Dong Sen Yen period, uh, we have found a lot uh, of the miniature uh, uh, small bronze artifact. Um, it's uh, only for uh, only for the the dead, um, the barrier. And the new one uh, from the 2019. Yeah. See, see uh, very clearly how to put the the, the uh, bronze arrowhead and the uh, uh, pottery uh, artifact uh, at the uh, on the leg of, of the bed. So um, in two thousand twenty, we have uh, uh, very rich uh, grape. Uh, we call the grape. Um, um, age. And um, according to the um, Professor Nguyễn Lân Cường, the expert on the uh, paleo human, uh, he, um, he worked here, it is here, he worked here and uh, he uh, helped us to identify the, 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 the age of, of this skeleton. It's just, um, the the death is the woman uh, from uh, at the age of uh, 29 to 32 years old. And um, it is high, it's, I think it's higher than uh, <laughs> nowadays people in Northern Vietnam, women in Northern Vietnam. And this is uh, uh, also a rich uh, barrier of, uh, of uh, a lot of uh, bronze artifact is about Eight a bronze artifact, a five bronze a fragment, and ceramic pot. Um, and um, we, for the Vietnamese uh, archaeology his, historian, we think that during the the Dong Sen Yen period, Dong Sen time, the the the, the woman play important role. Maybe this uh, also a kind of uh, evidence for us now to. To think about this, and of course uh, we must wait for our final analyzing of all all um, barrier here uh, from uh, previous excavation and from uh, two excavation recently, and uh, in um, to compare with other sites uh, from Dong Sen in a pre Dong Sen Yen period in the northern Vietnam, and to see the situation that the uh, that woman. Uh, play important role or no in this period. Um, 
Yeah, I think uh, I uh, give you already the how to say the stratigraphical uh, development and uh, the uh, feature uh, this, um, appearing at the site uh, related to the uh, some human uh, living activity and that activities. So maybe uh, I think I uh, will go to the give you some information on the uh, artifact and related, um, how to say, uh, craft uh, uh, production uh, at, the, at, the, uh, at the site. Uh, usually at the uh, pre dongsen and dongsen yin period, we have found a lot of artifacts make, made up from the stone, um, from uh, um, the pottery, and um, uh, later from bronze and iron. In, in um, Advan Choi, we also found a typical uh, artifact uh, uh, for uh, Dong Dao, Gomun, and Dong Sun culture as the other side. Um, but uh, as I mentioned uh, above, uh, uh, because we have the 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 the, um, the area of uh, how to say pond or, or or small river something kind of dust or or like so we have uh, a lot of uh, wooden artifact uh, found. Of course, um, from the two thousand twenty and two thousand nineteen uh, excavation, we um, we leave. Uh, this layer intact. So um, the artifact from uh, the Gomun layer, um, wetland uh, Gomun layer, still still uh, on site. And if um, we make, uh, if we have the um, uh, plan uh, for preservation, maybe we can, how to say, we can uh, excavate this. And uh, maybe we have more um, more kind of um, more type of uh, this kind of uh, wooden. So uh, this is a kind of um, it is the, the stone uh, stone uh, bit uh, from the Dong Dao and Gong Moon period. It is a wooden 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 bracelet um, from the Gong Moon period. It's related to the um, textile making. You know, that's ready. And uh, some kind of uh, bronze, uh, Dong Sun bronze artifact. Uh, here are the stone. Most of the stone ornament and um, tool are found in Dong Dao and Gong Moon area uh, or Gong Moon layer. Uh, of course, there is uh, also the some stone uh, ornament from the Dong Sun Yin period. But you know, that's a uh, in Dong Sun Yin period, the most of the implement and tool, uh, productive tool, are made uh, on uh, from the bronze. Uh, but in a little bit, uh, a very small one, uh, a small quality from the uh, stone. It is a typical um, artifact, uh, bronze arch, bronze edge, and um, other artifact from the uh, Dong Sun, uh, from Phung Nguyen, Dong Dao, and Gong Moon period. Yeah, it's a, also is a stone artifact uh, in button shape uh, from Dong Dao and Gong Moon period. We are um, uh, discovered uh, in uh, 2019. Um, it's real. Is it not uh, common? It is not of uh, how to say. Uh, it is a kind of uh, a very beautiful one, unique one in in this side. Of course, we have also found in other side uh, of. Which period is uh, but uh, it's not in the big number, is uh, But uh, a lot of uh, ornament made of the from the stone, a very um, hard stone. We call the J, J stone, a kind of J stone. Uh, it's uh, typical for the Dong Dao Nian period, uh, the earring and the bracelet, uh, and um, the bead. Uh, so um, we also found uh, some vestiges of the preparing, uh, repairing, and um, 
I don't think that they make uh, they, they 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 made uh, on side uh, the uh, the the stone uh, ornament, but the uh, the vestige of uh, preparing. Uh, for example, when the bracelet, there's a T section bracelet, is a very famous for uh, for 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 bronze age, for metal age, uh, and for later Neolithic and early metal age in Southeast Asia, in southern China. It's not only in Vietnam, you know, already. And but um, when this uh, broken. They um, uh, they uh, uh, repairing uh, by the to how to to read the hole here and to use uh, some kind of uh, maybe of bronze uh, white or some other organic uh, white to uh, how to say to uh, connect uh, to reconnect uh, the bracelet also and. Um, Before they think that's uh, only in uh, Phong Nguyen Nhiên period, um, the ornament, um, stone ornament, are beautiful and uh, and and very uh, how to rich in in form. But in this, um, in Dong Dao and Gò Mun period, um, the stone ornament uh, still uh, play uh, important role for the people. Uh, um, however, uh, during the, the Dong Sơn Yen period, um, some stone ornament, uh, for example, the bracelet or earring, uh, still, uh, still, uh, how to say, uh, in use. But um, um, in Dong Sơn Yen period, they um, they made uh, the ornament from bronze. And uh, in the later Dong Sơn period, we have found the glass uh, ornament. But in the Red River Delta, glass ornament are not common. Um, most of the glass ornament from the Dong Sơn period are found in Thanh Hoa province, in the north, in the southern part of the Dong Sơn Yen culture. So I think uh, it's a, also is a very important um, information for distribution of the glass making uh, during the early Iron Age in Red River Delta. Uh, here we also found some um, Indo-Pacific bit, kind of uh, monochrome uh, Indo-Pacific bit, but I think that the, this kind of, uh, of uh, bit maybe belong to later period, maybe after Dong Sơn. Uh, we call post Dung Sơn or Han period. This area also, uh, we have found a lot of uh, vestiges of um, the first century or second century AD belong to the Chinese domination period in Northern Vietnam. But it's a, it's a other issue I, <laughs> I do not mention here. Yeah, these are uh, some bronze artifact, uh, bronze artifact from the uh, Gò Mun and Dong Dao period. Uh, very typical, and um, um, it's also uh, how to say um, so we we know that um, uh, from other side of, and from the other excavation, you know that bronze appeared in northern Vietnam as a uh, northeast Thailand about three thousand five hundred years ago, uh, and. Um, Mm, at the um, Vân Chui site, we also found the vestiges of making the bronze uh, from the Dong Dao period. And we think that the, uh, during the Dong Dao, near Dong Dao period, we have some kind of boom of bronze making in northern Vietnam. And uh, from Vân Chui site, we have uh, uh, Discover the same the same vestiges, uh, the same uh, proof for um, knowing about the appearing of the bronze making in 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 northern Vietnam. But uh, from Dong Dao uh, and Gò Mun, uh, uh, bronze artifact play important role. But uh, um, I think um, the the wooden and the stone um, still have some very important role uh, in uh, the, the situation change uh, into the Dong Sơn Yen period. Here you can see the, the, the uh, assemblies of the bronze artifact found at the Vân Chui site um, barrier. Um, most of the 
uh, intact um, bronze artifact in open or in a vessel are found in Beria. Inhabitation area are very few. Uh, I think it's the, the same situation everywhere. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> how to say the unique and the rich um, um, expensive uh, expensive in, 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 in our understanding um, artifact they are uh, they dedicated to the dead so in the uh, in the habitation uh, area we have found only some fragment broken on uh, this is uh, some artifact found uh, from the area of Dongsun Beria at Wenchoi side. But this is this is collected by the people, uh, local people. Um, at the village, there is some um, not not collector, not private collector, but they because they are they love the Wenchoi side and they love the heritage and they um, collect uh, the material when um, the people are doing the agriculture uh, activity on the on the Wen Chui. and then they um, um, they they collect from all uh, all uh, uh, local people um, and they build a kind of uh, exhibition hall uh, at the village and then they have us a lot uh, I think uh, if we if we want to open the museum here uh, for the uh, for the, for the people, for the local people, and of course not for only for local people, for the um, Vietnamese people here. Yeah. So a lot of uh, beautiful one. Yeah. Uh, this only one, uh, a small, very small part of uh, collected material. And some uh, vestiges uh, are directed to the uh, bronze making on site. Yeah. For example, we have uh, a lot of uh, services of uh, foundry uh, and the uh, mold for the making of uh, asses of uh, other ornament and slag and uh, very small and kind of uh, remain um, washed up, um, during the process of the bronze uh, molding or uh, bronze making. Um, we have also found uh, some iron artifact, but at Vun Chui side, uh, the iron artifact very few and fragmented. Um, and we think that uh, the bronze uh, material play most important role in this area, in this area especially, and in this period, maybe the bronze, uh, the iron, um, iron nature um, became more important uh, in after in the first century uh, BC and first century AD onward. Uh, um, some organic material, some organic uh, uh, um, uh, artifact. Um, we have also found uh, some bone artifact uh, um, in the Dong Dao and Go Moon Layer. I don't so know. Um, and, um, I think that the bone artifact also play important role, but uh, because of the natural environment uh, conditions, so it's uh, difficult for uh, them to how to say to 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 remain uh, intact until now. Uh, this wooden artifact uh, common period. Uh, um, Collecting uh, from previous uh, excavation, uh, not in in 2020 and 2019, uh, as I mentioned over already, and um, this artifact um, uh, come from the the, the wetland uh, area of the Gomun's uh, Gomun period, and now uh, stored in a museum of uh, anthropology of my university. Uh, it's difficult for us, uh, um, indeed, uh, to how to say to treatment with this uh, artifact. Um, for example, this uh, bracelet, is, um, it look intact when we have found, but uh, then they became uh, fragmented now and we, we must to, how to, say, to store in, in the 
in the box with the water for to how to say to um, maybe in in the future i we must to ask some experts of the laboratory of museum of history at hanoi to help us to work uh, to preserve uh, this uh, artifact uh, for uh, displaying for the exhibition uh this kind of uh, sorry ah uh, this is dong dao pottery a very fast uh, to very briefly to see uh, the the development of the pottery here we have found the typical kind of dong dao pottery about 3500 years ago um, with a, a very typical um, type and uh, the decoration of uh, Uh, for the gomun uh, for the dong dao ni period and then uh, we have uh, the gomun pottery also uh, the gomun pottery there are a lot of uh, big fragment because they 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 um they left into the wetland and so we can found the uh, a lot of them and also typical for the this uh, this period of the northern vietnam So uh, this is a Dong Sơn. Uh, it's a Dong Sơn uh, pottery. Most of the Dong Sơn pottery are found at uh, the area. So we can see the very how to say the, the intact, uh, not intact, but uh, it's um, not very fragmented as the in the residential area. It's also the typical for uh, Dong Sơn in period in northern Vietnam. We also uh, have some uh, information on the Poland and on environment. Uh, it's uh, done by the uh, Dr. Nguyen Thị Mai Hương from Institute of Archaeology. Uh, today she has uh, some meeting uh, and she cannot uh, attend our session, but um, um, during the um, 2020 and 2019 excavation we use uh, the wet uh, sieving and flotation uh, for collecting uh, the 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 macro uh, micro uh, remains and now uh, my hương also working on uh, process of analyzing of this uh, remains and i think that's the in uh, maybe next year um Or at the end of uh, this month, we have the big conference on archaeology uh, of all Vietnam. Maybe she will uh, present some uh, new result about the uh, environment and about the botanical uh, remain flora, remain the virtual site. She is very busy because uh, only one expert, and we have a lot of <laughs> of site to do. But uh, she can um, analyze some uh, of uh, a lot of bamboo, a lot of uh, lotus, uh, a lot of uh, kind of uh, um, uh, tropical, uh, tropical um, uh, plant uh, found at the Vun Choi side, uh, especially at Dong Do and at Gong Moon layers. And we have also some vestiges of the. Um, A bone uh, of the animal bone, uh, um, especially we have some kind of uh, 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 Asian elephant kind of here because uh, uh, during the Dao period, this area is uh, I think still is a forest and this uh, uh, suitable maybe for for this kind of animals. But uh, from uh, uh, Gao Moon and Dong Sơn period, we have also the um, uh, kind of uh, domesticated. Uh, domesticated um, uh, animals uh, also um, for the detail uh, if uh, some of you interested in uh, this i will send uh, the detail report uh, on the this this remain for reference all right and of course the rice remain during the Rundau period uh, or um, even early Phong uh, uh, Nguyen period, we also found the vestiges of rice cultivation in Vietnam, in Northern Vietnam especially. And I think the, the earliest now rice cultivation evidence for the Northern Vietnam is about 4,000 years uh, ago. But uh, 
the direct the direct evidence related to the rice cultivation kind of uh, this uh, carbonized rice grain or uh, whose imprint in burn clay uh, is about 3,500. And from one side, we have not found the direct evidence. We have indirect evidence only. Um, for the um, dating, unfortunately, we have not a lot of uh, sample for um, AMS dating, for absolute dating. But um, from uh, 19 uh, excavation, uh, 2019 excavation, I have some sample collected and sent to uh, Dr. F uh, Dr. Professor uh, Philip Piper and Peter Banut uh, for helping us to uh, analyzing. And so I, I have uh, the good result. We have good result for the, for example, we have three um, because of COVID also. The lab in Australia not working. Uh, so until now we have uh, received uh, three uh, results. For example, this kind of the, the first the two sample we uh, we uh, um, we taking from uh, we are collect from the hormon layer. Um, give us a very, uh, I think, uh, properly uh, dating, um, um, and one from the Dongsen layer, uh, from the Dongsen layer, uh, above uh, the 40 uh, reinforced the uh, post-set layer, also give the very, um, I think, right um, um, date uh, in comparison with the, our uh, chronology, given chronology uh, before. Uh, based uh, also on the pottery uh, typology, on the bronze typology, and on the other artifact pathology. Also, uh, we have uh, the uh, absolute dating from other side. So I think um, in the future also, uh, if they can uh, analyze more um, systematically uh, collecting a sample for Absolute in dating is a, uh, will contribute to build the um, uh, chronological seconds for not only for Venjoy but for other side because this also is a problem for for Vietnamese archaeology. We last uh, the we, we have the limitation on the um, absolute in dating uh, systematically. Yeah, I uh, mentioned some value. Uh, I think that's you, you also, how to say, uh, also um, um, know about uh, some uh, the value of the, this site. Um, because this um, is the one site that uh, consisted of uh, or contain the development, cultural development from the uh, Dong Do to the Dong Sun Yin period. Um, it's not, um, we have uh, some other sites uh, around Hanoi, but uh, most of them are disappeared already. So um, this site is the play, um, not, uh, I think, first of uh, the role for um, uh, our future resource um, on the um, human activities and uh, environment uh, changing. And... Um, artifact uh, typology and other problem, uh, other uh, issue on the, uh, on the community uh, building uh, from the uh, 2000 years ago, uh, uh, 4,000 years ago until the 2000 years ago. Um, here, no, I, I put some, you can see on here, yeah. And I think this, uh, this site is suitable for building the open air on site archaeological museum, that's we last now. Um, especially for the underground west uh, remains. We have um, in Hanoi some kind of uh, archaeology, uh, no, in Vietnam, we have not archaeological museum uh, space or only for the archaeology, no. Uh, but we have some, uh, of uh, uh, how to say 
Thang Long Citadel, we have one. Uh, and uh, now we have one, um, not, not really open air, uh, but um, in Koloa side, at Koloa side. Yeah. So for the prehistory and uh, proto-history, we need, I think we need uh, some of uh, kind of this museum that's connected between the site, the museum with the artifact. Because a lot of on-site museum or open air museum now without artifact, because artifact come to the museum. Uh, and uh, we, we go to the site and we, we, we see only, only some picture in some, uh, Mm, some panorama only, but you know, and maybe this side we can, uh, I think, uh, enough uh, evidence, enough information for building that. So, um, yeah, it's an uh, um, other side for research, for uh, international collaboration between the expert. Um, uh, for example, a lot of skeleton of the Dong uh, people now stored in museum, and we need the, the expert to work on this, on, on this skeleton. Uh, on the picture, we can see Professor uh, Lee uh, Phap Quân, in Vietnamese uh, name, uh, from uh, Sunasen University. He, uh, he is expert on the um, human skeleton, but the activity of the people. And we have us, uh, he uh, have us with the expert from Vietnam. We uh, work on the skeleton to see differences between the Dong Dao people, only one skeleton with the Dong Sơn people. Uh, they, the activity that they, they, they um, um, when they, they live and maybe uh, some uh, dietary uh, using the uh, isotope. Uh, analyzing of the skeleton and something and and, some, and maybe if we are lucky some uh, um, genetic uh, analysis analysis and of course uh, the place for the field school of our student uh, in the future um oh yeah uh, i think i i I am going to the final, uh, final uh, part or final part of the presentation for about the uh, Vun Chui and uh, public archaeology. Uh, now, uh, Vun Chui is very famous <laughs> on the fables uh, because the local people they are very interested in this site and they have plan how to preserve and how to use this site for, of course, for the. Uh, for, for their life, uh, firstly, and then for the other people around. Uh, and um, we can find uh, a lot of information in a picture uh, and the um, mm, uh, opinion of the local people, of the expert uh, on uh, this uh, address on the Facebook. Uh, um, in, I, I don't think that there is the other side uh, in Vietnam, <laughs> that there is uh, uh, the people that's interested uh, a lot uh, as a Vun Choi. And it also help us uh, uh, to, uh, uh, how to say, to, um, uh, to, to say to the uh, manager, to the uh, uh, contractor, uh, the important value of the Vun Chui um, for the future uh, generation. Here, um, of course, the site, you know already, the site uh, now allocated in strongly urbanized area. Uh, uh, this is the road, uh, National Road uh, 3.5 will come through this site. And um, here, the, here's the cemetery of the local people already, and here uh, also is a became will became the uh, very high building area uh, for the people. Uh, so a lot of uh, dangerous uh, dangerous situation uh, that the uh, Choi is located. Here, yeah, this road can come here and uh, 
because when they are building the, the living area here and they must to build the uh, infrastructure, the road inside the area and um, it's also, how to say, um, impact badly to the site. It's today, it's the present area, it's the, it's the um, this year, uh, picture of the site with the, our excavation pit. And you know, that's a lot of uh, TV program, newspaper article, um, right on the Vern Joy site. And I, in uh, our team, um, Oh, several several times we <laughs> we talk on the TV uh, and we um, how to say we make the interview with the journalist for the um, for the importance uh, value of the site and our plan uh, for the research future fi research and uh, future um, using of this site for um, is a uh, is a very famous uh, how to say journalist on the uh, VTV one the 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 official uh, program of the Vietnamese government. Um, we also are uh, during the the excavation. We also using the modern technique. Uh, for how to say for making for uh, the information and data um, for the future museum or the future kind of plan for preserve plan for example um, we uh, scan uh, 3d dimension all all uh, excavated pit and we using also the drone uh, to control uh, the changing of the panorama Every year and every, every season, we we use a drone um, to make uh, to make the photo, and then we can compare Vun uh, Chui uh, changing um, year by year, uh, and then uh, maybe we can show even to the public uh, to see this. In our museum, uh, Anthropological Museum of University, with the local museum uh, in the in the, in the Lysa village, uh, uh, we have they have the museum of photography because this village is the how to say is the how to say the of hometown of the first uh, photograph uh, in Vietnam, and they um, they build small museum for this uh, calf uh, production and uh, it's a uh, photography but they use uh, the first floor for the um, specific time uh, and we uh, co-organize with them kind of uh, Choi site and the people we call the public archaeology of Vun Choi. Uh, and um, this is the meeting uh, the first meeting that I work with the local uh, people uh, for making the plan and how to do and how to organize the exhibition to the people. Uh, they can, and the local people, they uh, also help us uh, a lot in the excavation process and they collect all the material. And uh, the secondary uh, children, as uh, the student from the primary and secondary school uh, at the village, they also help us to uh, to wash the material to uh, make the collection. Uh, so I think that's the, uh, it's the first time that's in Vietnam that uh, we have the very kind of public archaeology. Before we have some, um, for example, Dr. Nishimura also uh, do that, other uh, that, uh, but in the, I think in uh, not all the village uh, can, uh, how to say, can attend. And um, Mm, the local people they are very interested in the in this and they think that is a uh, the heritage from their ancestor and they must to preserve uh, into uh, in a kind of uh, um, some picture of the related to uh, we also organize a training course uh, for the people to to take the photo 
because this uh, this uh, this release of uh, is uh, the photography um, as kind of uh, and they um, Mm, they uh, observed our excavation process uh, and they make a lot of pictures and they organize also a species on, 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 uh, on, on this. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the people um, come to see the. Um, this exhibition is still, uh, still on the museum, on the museum at the village, at the Lysa village. But from the October, we bring we will bring uh, this survey uh, is the uh, exhibition to our university because uh, the, in October we begin the semester and the new student come here and they can see uh, exhibition on the archaeology uh, kind of public archaeology or archaeology uh, uh, in in community so yeah. Is uh, in the student guy uh, some uh, for the more uh, information you, you, you can go to the uh, address that I uh, put on the slide and you can see uh, more uh, in um, the activities of the local people uh, with the um, archaeological site. So I think it's of time already. So thank you very much for. Um, hearing me and, uh, and if you have some question, if I can answer, I will answer. Uh, but if uh, you need more information, uh, please contact with me. All right. Thank you very much. For Thank you very much uh, for Zoom. That was a, a, that was a very uh, uh, comprehensive and very interesting um, uh, look at the the site, and I'm so amazed by how much history there is in the, in the site. Um, I'm going to open the floor for questions. Please, if you're on Zoom, uh, you can leave a question on the Q and A, and if you're on Facebook, you can leave a question in the comments. But while we're waiting for questions, uh, I will let me show one of the the Facebook sites that uh, uh, Prof Lam mentioned. Uh, here it is. We will we will put the yeah yeah that's that's quite cool and I'm gonna we're gonna put links to all these websites that you mentioned uh, in the in the Spapa Sesh page uh, so you can you can uh, click on the links through there and yeah. uh, if you um, if you allow us uh, from we can also put your PowerPoints on uh, on the on the online as well so that people can take a, a closer look at all the uh, all the artifacts and and the the, the amazing uh, yeah. uh, things that you've shown us. Um, so I I have a few questions. Um, so maybe I will I will start with with yeah. uh, a few. Uh, maybe a, maybe a, just a just a whimsical one. But uh, you mentioned that um, according to to one of the the skeletal remains, you have a uh, a lady who was one point six meters tall. And she is. Uh, uh, she seems to be taller than Vietnamese women today. Yeah. So, what were they eating? Oh, it's a problem. Uh, when the professor Lee Phap Quan uh, and other people they uh, work with the skeleton from the Vân um, Chui uh, site, um, he also saw that the Đồng Đạo skeleton is uh, bigger than than Đồng Sơn. <laughs> but because we have only one Dong Dao skeleton, we have a lot of Dong Sơn skeleton, and it's difficult now to uh, to compare one with other. But uh, in this, I I just because now, uh, for example, me uh, um, from my generation, I also not very short, but uh, I am only one meter five and six uh, five. 56. So uh, for for the woman, maybe I think that's the, maybe the uh, dietary. They they also know not only eat uh, the rice, but they eat um, the uh, natural natural how to say um, uh, product uh, natural food. Uh, because the uh, rice cultivation uh, play important role, but in the Vietnam, uh, in traditional Vietnam, uh, the gathering and hunting and fishing play also important role. But I, I think we must to have to say to um, to do more 
competent analyzing with a lot of uh, of um, data data right so i have a question from alison yes. carter hi alison i know you uh alison asks if you think the dongson burials were in a cemetery that's separate from the housing area or do you think that the dongson burials were buried uh, underneath people's houses during the dongson period um yeah because uh, i also mentioned that um, there is the different dongson phases here right um the dongson uh, cemetery dongson burial now they they buried the their people uh, on the high uh, first on the high place uh, because the dongdo people they they live uh, at the highest place place and then um Mm, we we cannot found the gomun uh, uh, gomun vestis uh, here but we we found the uh, dongsan yin beria uh, with the, and uh, maybe in the later period uh, uh, because we have found in the northeast uh, past only dongsan yin cemetery uh, concentrate in area and we uh, that's i mentioned in the slide as the the looter the um, they 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 uh, destroy all but we can we can see the the uh, the pit um, how to say they they left and uh, i think that's maybe in the in the later dongsenian period they uh, use a special area to 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 bury it they uh, they are dead uh, because uh, we have also some example from other side in vietnam in um, Professor Phạm Minh Huyền and other people also have done also write on this on the their book. So I think maybe in this area in Vancho, we can find, we can see uh, this um, uh, phenomenon uh, of the cemetery. Maybe yeah. So the, the, does that mean that uh, at, at some point in time people were burying the dead underneath the houses, and then some point in time they moved no, the no, cemetery no, walls? No, no, underneath house. Maybe uh, some mis uh, misunderstanding here. Um, they the Dongsanian people they buried their dead uh, in the site of the uh, resident uh, the habitant site of settlement of the Dongdao and Gomun. Previously, Dongdao and Gomun, and they how to say they use this area as their cemetery. Um, is this this choice of using the the Gomun and Dongdao periods mm -hmm. for the cemetery is this yeah. only is this only in Bunchoi or is this in other sites as well? Do you find that? Yeah, in, um, in in other sites uh, at the Kola in the Dingchang site, uh, we also found this guy uh, this this, uh, this uh, situation. Uh, this uh, yeah. So the Dongsan people seem to choose the ancient sites to to yeah yeah to of course yeah, they, they continue they yeah yeah that's interesting. Yeah, um, because um, how to say um, um, if you see on the map of the location of the pre Dongsan and Dongsan Yen site in Hanoi city in Hanoi capital, you can see that uh, Dongsan Yen site uh, a lot because uh, during the Dongsan Yen period there may be some increasing of the growth of people something and they uh, uh, look they this uh, they they uh, how to say they live all over uh, the 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 city but uh Phung Nguyen uh, but uh, pre Dong Sen Yen period only look located on uh, the higher side because you know that's the this the Hanoi is the um it's the the formation of Hanoi is the how to say is the Red River Delta um, Alluvium and yeah, it's okay. It does. All right. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, a few questions, uh, including some of mine, are all related around the, the theme of the, of the museum. And um, uh, Joss Da from Vietnam has asked whether we could preserve the Wun Choi site, like the, the Ban Chiang site. I'm sure you've, you've been to Ban Chiang. Or Kun Tong Lak, who is the the director of Afa, she asks whether we, uh, the idea of an open air museum would uh, be of interest to the government, like the, like the, the tunnels in, in, um, in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, whether, whether turning that 
uh, into an open air museum might be a, a good way to protect the site. Um, if you know that the Ban Chiang is uh, one example only, but now we have the changing view of the open air museum or online museum. Um, for the Vun Chui, I think that we have the now we have the new technique, a new uh, uh, a lot of uh, modern modern technology uh, for uh, big, for a virtual tour of the Vun Chui. Uh, but uh, my idea does that uh, if we have now uh, we have not uh, opportunity opportunity to open uh, very modern open air museum, but you you must to how to say to preserve this area for the future. Maybe we have some kind of uh, very uh, the small flower garden and then we can put the small uh, exhibition or only. And um, but um, but my 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 opinion does we must to relate the the artifact with the museum. Not that artifact come to the Hanoi Museum and <laughs> At Vun Choi, only the site uh, and only the some some test pit or some excavation pit uh, with the stratigraphy is difficult. Right, you you see museums where they just uh, just yes, holes yes, in the ground yes. and then nothing else in there. But firstly, we must to preserve. We must uh, the 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 manager and the, the leader of, uh, of of Hanoi must to have to say to uh, uh, to make this for preserve uh, area. And no, no building, uh, no road here. Road only one pass only. Of course, we cannot preserve all all area. But if we we have chance to um, preserve one half enough, we can do an, a lot of thing there. Uh, but uh, uh, and for the suitib, uh, for the um, how to say. Sustainable archaeological development and for the next future, for the next generation to 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 do the research. Because if we excavate all things now, and in the future we have not uh, archaeological site for 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 the our young people, and I hope that in the future we we have more modern technique, more suitable technique, and we can preserve, preserve not only for the, for the museum, preserve also for the study and for the archaeological research and using the modern technique. Yeah, yeah. So, Ban Xiang is very, I think it's very expensive. Uh, if you open, open air, uh, it means that's very small one, pass only. And our other parts preserve underground and wait for for the future how to say um, resolution. I think so. How big is the the Wintory community? How many how many uh, people? How many families live in that area? Ah, the, there is family now here. Uh, there is the how to say this area now is uh, under the uh, living um, the industrial not not industrial how to say it uh, living square living what the living people the, the local people be, because Vun Chui um, before Vun Chui was the uh, kind of feel of the people uh, and cemetery of the local people there is not people living there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the it's also but it's the it's now is the 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 government give give this area for the for the road building and for the um, the building of the living square um, the high building and we hope that if um, half pass of one choice site can uh, be preserved. It can be became the kind of park, small park or small uh, flower garden uh, inside the living area. Uh, what kind of what kind of legal protection is needed for for uh, Vun Choi? Does there need to be a law passed to to uh, recognize the site to protect the site? Um, as I mentioned in the in the slide in in the, my presentation, that um, 
the purpose of our excavation uh, uh, in 2019 and 2020 uh, to check the distribution of the of the vestiges of uh, of uh, and uh, to see that the uh, western pass and eastern pass because the western pass the 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 road will go through and maybe this can be how to say excavated kind of studies excavated and material bring to the the museum uh, for exhibition but eastern pass we we must to check the eastern pass and Eastern part, uh, Western part, and Eastern part does uh, re equal in the values. So now, from this excavation, we know that Eastern part also is the equal uh, by the Eastern uh, Western part, and the West uh, Eastern part uh, we hope um, to preserve as the kind of uh, uh, preserve area for archaeological archaeology. Yeah. So, so who gets to who gets to uh who gets to protect the site? Who gets to say? Um, because it's um, uh, in this that's the, the the Hanoi leader, Hanoi uh, government leader. They also uh, help us to how to say to they um, you know that's uh, in Vietnam we have a kind of uh, centralized uh, management system of the heritage from the ministry of culture and then the the, the provincial or city government and then district government. They all they help us. Uh, they all they are responsibility for preserving the site by the law, heritage law. Yeah. Right. Um, has the has the media coverage, has the TV reporting and the and the newspaper reporting? Uh, how has it uh, how has it uh, helped? Or has it helped your work or has yeah. it not helped your work? Oh, they have a lot. <laughs> You know, that's because the, this area, um, the Venture area, uh, given to the company already. You know, that's the so the, the, the area belong to company uh, property already. Yeah. But by the heritage law, before uh, before building something, uh, uh, the the area must be uh, re, uh, surveyed, and if there is some archaeological remains uh, must be excavated. But because of it, it's very important. And around Hanoi, we have not other one. Right. All the things, yeah. And also the local people and the journalists and even district uh, uh, district leader and uh, of course our archaeologists, we um, want to, how to say, to change the function of this area, especially the eastern pass, eastern pass, um, because you know that the, do um, among the the living square there is the different different uh, different uh, how to say different uh, building, uh, but they have uh, they must they must have the uh, area for children to play. Uh, the park and uh, and we, we want uh, to preserve this uh, kind of uh, maybe they can using as I mentioned already for the garden for something um, without without um, how to say without building the, the big house there right we will try to try to zone yeah. Yeah, zone yeah. The recreation zone area yeah. yeah and in in this zone kind of uh, uh, playing a uh, ground or um, football, football ground or something, you can build uh, some small exhibition house for 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 value of Vân uh, The the people living in this area and the people in the village, village uh, local village can go here, and I think it's um. Vân Chuối, uh, at Vân Chuối, we have uh, opportunity because there is some museum already, already. Yeah, the museum of the photography, that I mentioned, one the museum of the kind of uh, Nguyễn Văn Huyên uh, museum is a private museum, but for the uh, important uh, VIP, uh, important uh, people, important person, and uh, in 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 the village, there there are a lot of. Uh, 
uh, common house uh, temple, Buddhist temple, and they make the tour. They they can make they can connect the Vân Chuối with other site with the other museum, and they make the tour from the the city to the to the village to see not only Vân Chuối museum, not only Vân Chuối site, but other. Uh, because if there is not network, you not connection, you cannot. Uh, and other opportunity that the other, other people, local people, they are very interested. Yeah, they want to, and even the district leader, they also want to preserve this. And I hope that uh, you well, can follow the law. And now you have made us all very interested in this site because I am so happy to, to learn about this site. I'm so happy that you're able to share share with um, everybody yeah. who's listening in. Of course, uh, uh, I I think the situation uh, that I we meet at Vento is the same situation in in Southeast Asia uh, country. Well, for example, first is uh, because uh, we 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 develop very very fast and the uh, the. Population grow, <laughs> yeah, expand, and other piece of the the looting problem, the looting problem. Uh, so uh, at one choice, we 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 meet all things that sky does, and I I also uh, learn from our colleague from and now I begin to think about the title of them. The museum, but uh, not deep museum, but living museum on the side, because the if if we if we that if we do kind of at other side in Vietnam, we we, we open one uh, excavated pit and we leave that here, and we the people come there and nothing, because the the ordinary people they cannot understand what happened here only one pit okay. so maybe we must think about uh, but uh, about a kind of uh, online on-site museum open air museum but uh, using the modern technique or modern technology for its vision and for um, preserving of this uh, artifact inside Yes, in, in Spaha, we've been thinking a lot about uh, museum design and, and thinking about yeah. how to rethink yeah. uh, museums. And, and, and that's something that uh, we, we have uh, been working on. Some of my colleagues have been working on in the pipeline. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. maybe on uh, next uh, conference of Spaha, we can have some section on the archaeological open air museum, online museum, how to uh, the practice and and what happened? Oh, uh, yeah. Which, I, uh, I think there will experience. be definitely some interest yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Because you know that heritage is not using, it's not heritage. And heritage is now for community, not for us. Only, Viet, uh, only archaeologists or the museum experts. And I hope that the adventure, you can do something. But that, it's my opinion. And <laughs> that, is a, that is a good note to end off in. Uh, I, 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 I think we, 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 should, we should close this session because uh, we've taken up uh, a lot of your time. Uh, yeah. thank, you, thank you very much for talking with us and sharing with us. Uh, yeah. I, I, I am going to, um, yes, I'm going to round up this session now. Okay. We, we, will, we will put this uh, recording up online so that you yeah. can yeah. come back and see it and share with your friends. Um, we have, let's see, I have to get through a couple of announcements. First, I need to announce the, the winners of the, of the bag giveaway. Yeah. So from uh, from uh, Vietnam, we have uh, Joss Da. We will have a bag sent to you and we'll uh, get in contact with you. And uh, our only question from Zoom was from Alison. So Alison, you get the bag by default. Mm -hmm. um, I, will, I will contact you and have that sent to you. And of course, uh, for, uh, for Plum, we will we will have yeah. something for you too. We will we will send it to you as well. You. Um, for our next uh, Spaha sesh, it's going to be in October sixteenth, and so we will have uh, details for that soon. It is mm -hmm. about um, the new normal, but uh, historical new normals because uh, right now everyone talks about new normal as if it's something new, um, but. Um, uh, 
uh, Yim Hataya, my, my colleague who's running the next Papa Sesh, uh, will be bringing us to, to different kinds of new normals that has happened throughout history and how, uh, how uh, historical changes have brought about new, uh, new normals the yeah. case studies from the UK and uh, Thailand oh, as well. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, comparing. So, so look out for that in the in the Spapa Sesh yeah. uh, website. So www. Uh, the same time. Yeah, uh, around the same time. We, we will have details out uh, online right. soon. So we will right. we will send that out. Great. Uh, so with that, uh, I I thank everybody for joining us, and I hope to see you again in our in our next Spapa Sesh. All right.